All right. Ready for this? Yes. Hey guys, Rhino Bones here with my son. MDJ2K7. And today we're going to try something quite different. It is menu number 17. Sloppy Joe. And looking at the bag, this is pretty old school. And there's no markings on it to tell me the date. Really hoping it's within date. At least the last 10 years. Let's find out. Interesting observation on the way to bringing this over to the table. Listen to this. I don't know what that means. Either there is something freeze dried in here or there is something that is totally crumbled up into little bitty pieces. Let's find out. First thing out of the box is our main sloppy joe filling, seasoned and or beef and seasoned beef crumbles and seasoned sauce. So it does have some numbers here on the side. I'm not sure if those mean anything. They certainly don't mean anything to me right now. Next out of the pouch, we've got our beverage powder, carbohydrate electrolyte orange. And that is not powder, that is chunks. So neat, that's probably gonna taste wonderful. This does have a number on the end of it, 5157. Not sure what that means. 5207. So I'm noticing somewhat of a pattern here. So you got our TP for our TP hole. Moist towelette. Domino sugar. That feels okay. Iodized salt, which always feels okay. Non-dairy creamer, which I just felt the piece crunch in my hand, so that is solid as a rock. 5104. I'm saying all of these numbers just so I remind myself when I'm going through the editing process to look it up, see what it means. Got some Taster's Choice one serving coffee. A mostly dried up bottle of Tabasco. Huh, that's pretty cool. I'm going to keep this for my shelf. I'm not even going to open this. I love Tabasco. It's gorgeous. It's my first one. Got some regular chiclets. Got one that's uh, very off-colored and one that's very white. And a green book of matches. Huh. I've never seen a green one. Neat. Got our heating unit. Prerequisite spoon. Ooh, got some wheat snack bread. That feels pretty interesting. Got more wheat snack bread. Guess that's our uh, bun, hun. Jalapeno cheese spread, and it is solid. Ugh, 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 ugh. Squeeze the cheese, please. Oh, shortbread cookies. Yeah, that's not cookies anymore, I don't think. And last item out of the bag, baked snack cracker, cheddar. Okay, so we got some Cheez-Its here. We used to have some Cheez-Its here. But, uh, the main started up, and we'll get the rest of it out on a tray. Gave the heating unit a gentle massage, and uh, yeah, this one's gonna work. Shortbread cookies. Oh wow, those look pretty interesting today. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say these will not be tasty. Um, I'm not even gonna take the whole thing out of the bag. There's just Oh, oh, smell that. Oh, <coughs> that is bad. That is a definite smell of mold and must. Oh, that's like, uh, blah, blah, blah. yum. Those are going to be awesome. Let's get some of the wheat bread out. Of course, this looks pretty normal. That actually looks better than the last bread I've gotten out of here. Let's take a nibble at this corner, see how it tastes. Mm. 
Not bad. Well, it's bad, but it's because it's wheat bread. But it's not terrible. That'll... It's so rubbery. Yeah. Ugh. Go ahead and get the other one stacked on top of it just to get it out of the bag. That one looks pretty much okay, too. All right, well, at least we got some buns for our meat. All right, son, I'm going to give you the uh, drink here. I'm going to get myself the coffee. Yeah, you can see in this bag, the uh, coffee has just turned in little chunks. I'm not sure how good that's going to be. It dissolved pretty good. All right, here's the inside of the uh, orange bag. Need to get a light from the other angle here so we can really see into that. So it's orange, but it's also got some orange crystals. Kind of looks like Pop Rocks in there. It tells me that it's gotten moist. Taste this coffee before I put anything into it. Ugh. That's pretty stale. That is some stale coffee. Definitely needs a little bit of sugar. That's much more palatable. I can drink that. Let's see what else we got here. Get a couple of these uh, Cheez-Its out on the tray. Yeah, busted up, broken Cheez-Its. Nice. Let's get some of these little Cheez-It crumbles out. They feel like Cheez-Its. They look like Cheez-Its. But what do they smell like? They smell like Cheez-Its. All right. I'm not going to put all of these out there because they're just a crumbled up mess. So we'll just take a couple nibbles. Orange drink is done. Actually, those are pretty good. This tastes like orange jello. I'd consider those Cheez-Its to be probably the best Cheez-Its I've ever had. Because I hate Cheez-Its. Orange drink, very nice. Very orangey. All right, our cheese is nice and spread. Let's get this chunked out here. Okay, cheese does not smell good. Do oh, no. Yeah, the cheese is definitely rancid. It's, uh, it's very smooth, but it has a terrible, terrible rank odor on it. So much like those cookies, this cheese has molded. Well, let's try it. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh. Whoa, that, that is some moldy cheese. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Try some. No. Yeah, try that moldy cheese. Oh. One thing we haven't tried yet are these uh, cookies. Give it, give it the old college try. Wow, the cookie is definitely not. Uh, oh yeah, definitely not edible. It's like those cookies that you find in your great grandparents' house that have been sitting in a bucket in the corner of the shed. And yeah, that's just not going to do it for me. So far. Only thing that's worth trying out are these little Cheez-It bits. Hopefully the Sloppy Joe's going to do us a little better. All right, I'm going to try some of this jalapeno stuff with some bread. Gosh. Just, can you hear the noises from this? Yeah, you can see this, uh, this is no longer cheese spread, but I'm going to eat it just for you guys. Oh, why do you guys hate me? Oh, 
Yeah. Oh. Oh, gosh. Oh. Yeah, I'm not touching that again. Oh, man. There's like crystals in it. I don't even, I don't even know. Oh. <coughs> Drink some of this, too. Well, I think this is done heating up. It's no longer making any noise. It is very, very hot. So hopefully that bodes well for our actual main. Let's get it out of here. Oh, some weird chunks in the corners. Aside from the dried up bits that are stuck to the side that are obviously moldy, most of the bag doesn't look that bad. I mean, it doesn't look great, but it does look like Sloppy Joe. Except for that big chunk of mold right there. Oh yeah, that's nice. Look at that. It looks more like chili than, ooh, the smell. <laughs> Can't even explain the smell there. It's fruity and, huh. Take a whiff. That is, that's really weird. Here goes nothing. Oh. All right. I'm not going to make us eat a lot of it. I thinking, uh, I'm thinking one bite on this and that's going to be more than enough. That way we'll know whether or not it's, uh, it's going to kill us. I don't know. I don't know what to think about that. It almost tastes normal. Ooh. Went ahead and ate that weird black piece. Okay, yeah. It's not. It's not normal. Oh, that black piece was, uh, that was not food. All right. I'm going to have to say this is a big no. I think at one point, the Sloppy Joe was probably pretty tasty. Uh, currently, from whatever year this was from, that is no longer Sloppy Joe. That's just sloppy. And I'm not having it. Whew. What do you think, son? Should we eat the rest? No. So there you have it. We've got very old Sloppy Joe. Not edible anymore. We've got moldy soft shortbread cookies. We've got crumbled up Cheez-Its, which actually taste really good. We've got this nasty, nasty, nasty jalapeno cheese spread. And that's the first time the jalapeno cheese spread has let me down. I'm very disappointed with that. Coffee was terrible. The orange drink was kind of iffy. Blah. Bad idea. And if you'd like to see more bad ideas, stay tuned to the channel. We will be having lots more bad ideas in the weeks to come. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and see you guys later. Bye.